Next, I want to talk about uh, a, a source of generation that we don't often think about as one of, uh, one of the elements of our generation portfolio, and that's backup generators, or captive generating capacity is sometimes referred to. So backup generators, when I, when I walk around uh, cities in India and I pass a big office building, uh, it'll invariably have a large generator associated with the building for backup power. And um, these backup generators uh, have quite a high capital cost per kilowatt hour of capacity. Uh, they have pretty high variable costs and quite low capacity factors, but their insurance value for their, um, for their purpose is very high. The idea that the building will have electri uh, electrical supply even when um, power from the grid is not available gives them an extremely high value when they're called upon to generate. They tend to be behind the meter, so they're, we don't think of them as being part of grid capacity. But it's important to realize that in India, backup generators or captive generation amounts to approx approximately 50 gigawatts of capacity. This is a huge marginal generating resource. Now it's expensive to run uh, and it has high capital costs, but it's there behind the meter and we can even think of circumstances where uh, we would want to consider backup generation as part of our portfolio of assets. Um, generally speaking, for our purposes, we're not going to be talking a lot about backup generators, but when we talk about managing demand for, uh, for electricity, uh, it is important to keep in mind that we have an enormous capacity of backup generators behind the meter distributed around, um, uh, around the grid.